So what team are you? Are you team wickedness? Or are you team righteousness? You know, the Bible says that God will come back and separate the wicked from the righteous. So when God comes back and you decide to live in wickedness, what are you going to say? Lord, Lord, you know what God's going to say? I don't know you, depart from me. That's what's going to happen here. And they'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth. God created men. Because you see, God was from before. You know, it means science even proves that there's a God. Why is that? Okay, be. I don't want to be. Because it says <laughs> that the law is that the law of nature existed even I'm before. Sorry, but God isn't real, man. Before the time world is, was created, time is coming, bro, which bro, lines bro. up with the book of Genesis, <laughs> that before the foundations of the world were he made, God is not the real. one was slain, Jesus God Christ. You see, all things were made by Him and he for said God Him. God is not real. But it's your choice to live in God free God will. God giving us free will. So if you decide to laugh and mock and reject God, that's fine. Yes. That's your choice. Mm -hmm. That is your choice. But make no mistake, when you die, the Bible says we're all appointed to die, and then judgment comes. What are you going to say to God? Oh, I didn't know. He'll say, yeah, you did. He'll say, oh, I didn't have a Bible. He said, did you have a phone? You could have downloaded it. But you choose to download everything else. You decided to reject him. The Bible says that when we confess Jesus, it says that Jesus Christ confesses us to the Father. But it says those that reject Jesus are being rejected to the Father. It says that if you are ashamed of him, he will be ashamed of you. And I am not ashamed of the gospel of the Lord Jesus. I am not ashamed because I know it is the power of God unto salvation. And it has taken somebody like me who was a drug dealer turned drug addict, homeless. You see, when God entered into my life, he rewrote my story. Gave me a beautiful home. Gave me a wonderful job. Gave me a beautiful life that's wife way out of my league. Why? Because you see, God is for His people. And those that are believing in God and have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, you see, are made righteous to God. We become their heat because Jesus Christ walked perfectly. And the blood that was shed was perfect and righteous. That now by receiving His grace and salvation, you see, I am now made righteous before God. Which now, there comes some benefits. Now I can approach the throne of grace through God, through Jesus. We do what? But you see, many people walk by and they say foolish things that make no sense. You know, people need to wake up. People need to wake up. What happens here is because people have rejected God, they have no fear of God. That means they have no wisdom. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. But yet you fear not God. So therefore you don't even have the beginning of wisdom. That's why people walk by and they say foolish things. Foolish. That you see when God pulls back the veil from your eyes and shows you the ways of the world and its foolishness, you see it and my heart now hurts for people because you see God has given me a heart for people he has given me a heart for souls that I would love to see people saved. I don't want people to experience the wrath to come and yes there is wrath to come but you can escape the wrath to come you can escape it how do you escape the wrath to come? Well, know this. When you see judgment on the land, when you turn on the news this summer, and you see crazy things you've never seen before, and let me tell you, you will see it. Don't be afraid. But rather, turn to God. The Bible says that all the call in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ will be saved. 
So when you start to experience some things in this life that are starting to have you live in fear, call on Jesus. Jesus will save you. Your governments will not save you. Religion will not save you. Church buildings will not save you. The Catholic Church cannot save you. Priests cannot save you. There is only one name that can save you. There is only one name that's been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Where we must be saved, that's the Lord Jesus Christ. There's no other one. So when you find yourself in a great time of trouble, and that time will come, whether you believe it or not, those under the sound of my voice, you're not here by accident. That you are to hear this message. To know that when the time of great trouble comes upon you, that there is a way out. Because God has not sent His only begotten Son to die for us so that we can face condemnation. What are you doing? Well, praise God. We thank God. But you see, God sent His only begotten Son that whosoever shall believe it in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And God is calling on everybody to repent. So you can laugh and you can mock Him. That's up to you. But know this, you will face judgment. You will all face judgment. I will face judgment. The Bible says that don't judge the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. That's what Jesus says. And Jesus says He's the only way and the only life and the only truth. So we're here judging righteous judgment. Anybody can call themselves a Christian. I call myself a believer. I don't have a religion. I go to Catholic churches and tell them to repent. We go to churches and tell them to repent. Why? Because religion cannot save you. Only Jesus can save you. Jesus never started religion. He started and said, follow me. That's what Jesus said. He said, you must deny yourself, pick up your cross and follow him. That's what Jesus said. So, who is it that you follow? It seems these days, many people are following the blind. The blind lead the blind and they both fall into the ditch, my friends. That's what happens. And we run around lusting after the things of the world that lead to damnation. You see, many people are on the broad road that leads to damnation. Many people. Jesus says that the broad road has a wide gate. Many people are on it. Many people enter in. And that way leads to destruction. But that there is a narrow road that leads to everlasting life through the Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus is full of grace and full of mercy. The Most High God is full of grace and mercy and love towards you. Even how you hate Him, He still loves you. The Bible says, Though we were yet sinners, He died for us. So even though we did not deserve it, we still don't deserve it. He died for us on a cross. And His death, burial, and resurrection has been recorded even outside of the Bible by secular historians. Yet we deny Him still because you lack wisdom. There's no wisdom in understanding anymore. You need Jesus Christ. You need Jesus. He's the only you got a good job. You got a job. And you see, he loves you. Dad, you so if you don't know the love of God, if you have no God, the one who created love, then you know what you have experienced? You've experienced lust. So when you turn to your partner and you say, I love you, really what you're saying is, I lust you. Because it seems when times get troubled, when things happen between your relationships, you guys leave each other. That's not love. Do you know what love is? Love is self-sacrificing. 
If your boyfriend or your girlfriend is not willing to self-sacrifice themselves for you, it's not love. I have a beautiful wife. She's beautiful. And I used to be homeless. And I used to be a drug addict. But God entered into my life and set me straight. And established me. And you know, God can do the same for you because He loves you. What do you say? And God sees us. I said he should make love to his wife. He sees us. Go home, make love. He sees make us love. in the troubled times of our life. He sees the suffering. People of this world, they need the trials and tribulations. They need a wisdom of God. But God can remove these and your fears and your depressions. But it seems like people rather just have those. People rather experience.